hi and a very warm welcome to yet another tutorial of easy video series in this tutorial you are going to see how to install ubuntu 14.04 the trusty zaha in virtual box uh, friends this is a daily build but uh, i guess installation between the final version and this won't have much difference in fact uh, from the version 12 i guess ubuntu has streamlined each and everything the menus the appearance all come in the same manner with the unity interface okay so as always our approach will be a step by step uh, you have this oracle virtual box click on the new <coughs> sorry give any name to your machine as per your choice let's give it 14.04 uh, preferably i would suggest giving 1 gb of ram that is 1024 mb or if you have a higher machine then you can give higher ram for low end machines at least 512 is recommended click next uh, let it create a new virtual drive of its choice these are all default options unless you are an advanced user you can tweak but uh, i prefer the default options <coughs> just click on next file locations if your drive does not have enough space you can change your location okay so the virtual machine is created in any virtual machine that you create of your choice especially when installing ubuntu i always prefer to disable internet while the installation is going on or you never know it may continuously check for the internet so right click on the virtual machine click on settings come under network and uncheck this enable network adapter is unchecked click okay and now click on start select your machine right click click on start or from the toolbar you can select now it is asking you to select the startup disk basically it's the ios of ubuntu so i'm clicking on browse i have this trusty desktop amd 64 that implies a 64 bit version but installation of 32 bit will exceed uh, proceed in the exact same manner as this select the file click open alternative you can double click on the file click start so there you go the maroon background of ubuntu appears installation may take at least 10 to 15 minutes i don't remember let's see it's a new version i am installing it for the first time there are not much changes from version 13.10 or 13.04 the versions of ubuntu uh, unity are improved it's a better approach to install any os that you wish to test in the virtual box so you can get a feel instead of installing it in the entire hard drive installation in the virtual box give you exact feel on how the operating system would work like for example i did not like any upgrade after the ubuntu 12.04 it was an lts but with 14.04 it's still an lts it's a long term support it will be supported for 5 years so there you go and you get the language selection here try ubuntu for the live mode and we have install ubuntu since we are installing here let's click on install ubuntu i have zoomed the video for your convenience so it has at least 6.2 gb that's fine and it's always better to take this install third party application it adds some repositories in app kit that will help you to install mp3 codecs and flash codecs later on click continue So since you are doing in a virtual box we can select this option directly. Okay, if you are installing this on a proper hard drive I would always recommend to do in something else. Okay, since this approach uh, we make another tutorial for that. Right now I'm selecting this option erase disk and install ubuntu. You can encrypt the volume if you wish to have for more security but I am leaving it to the default options. So, click install now. uh select your region i'm from india i will select india continue select the keyboard layout i keep it to default us and your name let's keep this as ubuntu 
in the password also I am entering Ubuntu and I wish to log in automatically click continue so it's asking for your Ubuntu one account since we have disconnected the internet uh, it won't work okay so we can just select login later So there you go. The installation has been started now. It's open to 14.04. Trusty Tahar. And one thing about this, this may take some 5 to 10 minutes. You can skip the video till the end because there are no such menus, no sub menus, no confirmation tasks, no op entering any options. But for users, those who wish to see the installation time, installation screens, and the various screens that appear, I am continuing this video. I will not pause. So typically the standard screenshots, rhythm box, this short well photo manager. This is Ubuntu one, the Dropbox kind of service offered by Ubuntu. I don't know how many users use it. Then Firefox without flash, of course. I don't know why Ubuntu community does not give flash along with it. Then our library office, writer Cal can impress, impress for PowerPoints. The settings things and the askubuntu.com. So as you see, installation of Ubuntu in VirtualBox is very easy. In fact, uh, for installation of any Linux ISO or a Linux distribution in VirtualBox has the exactly same steps, except in the step in which you select the ISO. Instead of the Ubuntu ISO, you may select a Mint ISO, a Manharo ISO, uh, Arc ISO, Magia ISO, any ISO, Luninux, there are so, so many, GNUsense, okay. So, the advantages of installing in VirtualBox is you can get the feel. You can see if there are not much changes, you can skip installation of the new on the new devices. Or also, sometimes you are not, you do not have access to the devices to install a brand new version. <coughs> I will have an annotation in the video that will tell you to skip to the part in which uh, the ending screen comes. Okay, the ending screen will directly have that menu. Uh, please press restart. Okay, so it's now almost finished copying files and it will install the system. May take another 5 to 10 minutes. The important thing I repeat again is the disconnection of internet. If you have a direct connection to the internet, I would say no issues, but at times it will download the latest versions and the latest update from the net. Okay, it's always better that let the installation take at its own place without the internet, and after the installation is complete, reboot in your desktop and then you can do sudo app get update, upgrade, distro update, whatever you wish to have. But on the fly while installing if the net is slow the installation may take much much more time and it would be more painful okay so it's always better to install ubuntu without the internet connection physically you can remove your lan port or disconnect the internet as i have shown in the virtual box or normally if you see you may have it somewhere here this is the volume us map Uh, since there is no internet, there is no internet button here, I guess. I had disabled it in the virtual box settings. Or else you have, may have an internet kind of button. You can click and disable your internet settings. So I think it's almost the last step. Running grub install. Installing the grub.
so there you go it's almost complete it's asking you to restart now installation complete the installation is complete you need to restart your computer in order to use the new installation just click restart now so it's 11 minutes 06 seconds so roughly 15 maybe 12 to 15 minutes on normal systems i should say I don't know why it has come and stopped here, could not acquire it. Let's wait for a few, ta few more time or else uh, I guess even if we reset the virtual machine it won't have any effect. In the virtual box sometimes you, have, you may have your mouse inside the virtual machine. In order to remove out of it, you need to see the portion which is here, like it's right control. So if my mouse is stuck inside the virtual machine, I need to press the right control on the keyboard in order to activate my mouse for the desktop. Okay, so I am resetting the machine. In most probable circumstances, it should reboot successfully. But I don't know, I think uh, it's hanged here. Let's do a reset. No, uh, let's do a close and send a shutdown signal to the machine. Let's see if it actually uses a shutdown signal or else it's not responding I guess. Let's uh, reset it. Click on reset. You need to do this. So, okay, there might be some bug uh, because it's still a daily build, not the final version that is released. It's rebooting. See, this is the hard disk indication in virtual box. Okay, so the red green glowing shows that the hard drive is busy. There you go. I have not installed the virtual box case additions or else I will have the full complete view. Okay. Once uh, one very major change that I felt in this city has improved a bit. But uh, for smaller windows the menus used to always appear on the top. Now let's see. I have a library office here. Mm. Not work for library office. I don't know. When I saw it yesterday, actually the menus are coming here right itself. They need not uh, go on the top. The menus do come here only. That's the major improvement. The file edit this menu actually comes in this place. See, the internet is disabled because uh, you had disabled it from the virtual box main settings. To enable internet now in virtual box, you need to turn off this machine. Check the network enable button and then reboot the uh, virtual box thank you thank you for watching have a nice time goodbye